time to go to the cinema. Good day everyone, my name's It's Fuzzy, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Build Time Lapse. What you're looking at there is our fire station, that's what we made in the last episode. And if you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link to that in the description below. But today, we're going not too far away from that, where we're going to be making a rather large build, which is going to be our cinema. Now I'm going to let the video roll on and you can start to see me build the outer walls of the cinema. But before I start talking about the build, I want to be talking about the world download, which you know is happening today because of the video title. So, down below is going to be a link to a world download. Now this will just simply be, as you know, a normal world download, which you can install quite easily. And that is going to include all the builds up to the cinema, including the cinema itself. Now, I'd love if anyone could tweet me any pictures or links to videos of anything they do inside the town of Fosbury. I'd be sure to give it a retweet and a favourite. And it'd be really, really nice to see what you guys can do. So, for example, you might change one to build, you might blow it all up, or you might play some, with some mods on it. I don't know what you're going to do, but I am really excited to see whatever you do. So, don't forget to tweet me links to pictures or images of whatever you do in Fosbury. And next, of course, now is the cinema. So that is what we're working on. What I've built so far is the main front face. Now, this is going to be having at the centre a sort of curve made out of glass, iron blocks, and nether brick, which you can see there. And which we did see a minute ago, but it now isn't on screen, was like a cinema logo and a big black rectangle. Now, that rectangle was going to be, well, in real life, would show what film was on and then at what time. And I would just scroll through different films. But the other side wouldn't have anything on and we're going to come around to the side now you can see me building once again one of the other walls this was made out of sandstone and would have a grey wool strip going on the side of it so it wasn't so plain and we'd also be having some different aerials and some sort of like air conditioning units on the side just to add a bit more detail along the wall so it wasn't so flat and wasn't so plain Now the roof would be trimmed with a stone brick layer and then the inside of course was going to be made out of iron blocks which you can see me quickly placing here. Now I was going to be doing something which I normally do with my builds which was of course adding the aerials, the daylight sensors and never brick fence posts along the top but we'd also be writing the name of the cinema itself. Now I'm getting this name from a well known British brand of cinema which is called Cineworld and it's going to be writing that across the top which you'll be seeing me do here out of the quartz and the red stained clay and we'll also be adding a bit of a shadow on it which you'll see in a minute made out of black wool which I thought looked really really good inside now I've world edited in a bit of a floor and a bit more of a roof and we're going to be doing the main area where you'd be buying your popcorn or some drinks which are normally very overpriced now this was done using a sort of pillar quartz floor along the front and then we'd have bright colours as the actual desk itself because we wanted to attract all the families and everything and we wanted this to be a really vibrant place and I thought it came out quite nice with the blue and the red and then a little trim of yellow on either side. The main wall is going to be made out of quartz which you can see me building here and either side of the little popcorn place we'll be having two entrances which would lead into the two different screening rooms. You can also see above the two entrances I'm making two little TVs which might be showing trailers for films. I'm just coming around one of the corners now where we're having a bit of an arcade area. Now these arcade machines are the types that we've made in our bowling alley quite a few weeks back now. So be sure to go check that video out as well. But yes we're going to be having like the penny falls and some little grabber cranes here. As well as some other little racing games. And that's about it for this corner. Then we're going to go next to that where we're going to make a nice little shop. Now this wasn't very detailed at all, it was just quite simply snow wall and a nice flat floor with a very minimalistic inside. But this was maybe like a little sweet shop, a bit different to the popcorn area where you'd be buying all sorts of kind of sweets. 
Now I made all these little walls and stuff go up to the grey outline which we had going along the wall. I just thought this was a nice suitable height to make it. Here I'm making a mini little ticket office which I actually did quite a lot of work off, off camera because I didn't know what to do when I was filming. I'm going to come around making the toilets now. Now these were the simple checkered floor with some nice little cubicles going inside. And then we come across where we're making some rafters going along the roof. This was just so I think could be lit up a bit better because we didn't want glowstone just sitting all over the floor. Huh. Had a little bench and some leaves there. And a little bit of an iron fence to make an orderly queue when people want their popcorn. Going behind now, we're going to make a bit of a corridor, bring along the floor. And I forgot to mention, which if you can see here, I've added some orange wool in between the blue wool on the floor. I thought this sort of just broke it up a bit, so it's a little bit more detailed. This corridor would be leading to two screening rooms, and it was going to be made out of the clay, which you can see me doing here. There wasn't going to be too much else in this, maybe just a few paintings. But apart from that, there wouldn't be much else in here. You can see I'm going to be adding some lighting here now, and you'll see me add the paintings as well. And right there you can see the two entrances, which will be going into the two screening rooms, where the movies would be played. We're all editing a large room made out of coal blocks, and we're going to be starting off with the seating now. Now these were quite simply done with some iron bars and some never brick stairs, just going up at a slight angle. There wouldn't be too many rows, but it'll all look quite nice. And apologies if it all does seem a bit dark, I know it's a very dark room. But I tried to put as much lighting down as I could, so you guys could see exactly what I was building. We'd bring across these stairs here, quite simply, just so it would fill up all the space. And continue the same design on the other side. As you can see me just take up the stone slabs go next to the stairs. Just have a gradient going up. It wasn't so steep. I hid some lighting at the back underneath some carpet so the back could all be lit up. And I made a few more lights going along the side. So here we're going to be making the screen. Now, I'll leave you guys to guess what this is going to be. I mean, if you go back to the start of the video, you might have a rough idea. <laughs> it was based on that anyway. And then, alongside the screen, we should be having some wooden things, which I did change a bit later on. I'm going to will edit that studio in, where I've just simply put a blank screen on the other one. And we're coming outside, where you can see me connecting it up to the road a bit, and making a bit more of a smooth entrance into the cinema. Well, when that was done, of course, that was the cinema complete. There it sits. This will be included in the world download down below. So don't forget to tweet me any links or pictures to anything you've done inside of Fosbury, where I'd be blowing it up, playing it with mods, or changing it in any sort of aspect. But that's about it from me. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. That was amazing. Come over to the next video, guys. Hopefully you guys did like this little green screen video. I decided to try this out because I thought this would be quite enjoyable. Thanks for watching.